One of the first things that surprised me about the panel was how it is perceived internally. There are some fears about what we do and who we are. I think there's a huge um, misperception of what the panel does and how uh, important we are for the mission of, of the World Bank. I didn't know much about the panel. Um, I, was doing, I was in the private sector developing projects to create carbon credits, uh, but I was also doing some consulting, and I did consulting on two very complex projects where a very large uh, environmental and social conflicts arose. One was in Panama, and the other one in Peru. So when I saw the panel position, I was very intrigued because it looked something very similar. It's a very small team. It's just three panel members and no more than eight staff. And yet, uh, such a small team can have such a huge impact within the institution. So I applied, um, and I was thinking that perhaps this would be a part-time job at the beginning but I very quickly became the chair and I remain as chair for the next four years. I think colleagues here at the bank tend to feel that we are here to get them, that we're like a police, that we're trying to find what is wrong, when in fact, when you investigate, it's not pointing fingers or looking at people, but rather trying to understand the complexities of development and how uh, sometimes despite the best plans, despite the best supervision, despite the best budget, things can go wrong because you have too many moving parts and development is complex. Of course, there are also errors that are, that are made and those learning experiences are very important for the bank moving forward. There were quite a variety of cases, uh, very important ones. There were two with gender based violence that really started to bring that issue to the surface in the bank. But the one that was really interesting to me was the uh, case in Nepal. This was a transmission line where uh, in an area where people had to move out 10 years um, before because of violence. So the bank went back without reappraising the project and, and without doing new consultations. But after 10 years, once the people came back, when the peace was restored, the situation had changed a lot and the reality, the economic reality, was very different. Uh, areas that before were just agricultural areas for rice were now suburban areas and the land values had increased maybe 50 times or 100 times. So the type of compensation that was being offered based on the previous values was really not uh, appropriate. And I think the bank failed to understand that and that's why the conflict started and the inability to respond quickly led to a very big conflict, which could have been avoided. So that was a really interesting case where you see how um, it's not just going by the book, but really trying to understand the situation on the ground very carefully. I cannot conceive a World Bank without the inspection panel. I think the panel really makes the bank much stronger and much more credible. The fact that the bank uh, has hundreds of projects, billions and billions of of dollars out there working for development without an independent mechanism that can point out when mistakes are made uh, would be, uh, would be uh, unacceptable uh, today. So I think the panel is an integral part of the bank and I think the bank is much stronger because of the panel.